Do you guys like Harry Potter movies? I love them. I really like the magical world created in those movies, like the wands, the wizards, the potion, the characters, and especially the drama between those characters. And my favorite character is Hermione. Do you guys remember the scene where Hermione was correcting Ron to levitate a feather by using a magical spell called Leviosa? <laughs> I always find it funny. That's why I decided to capture that moment into a painting. So here it is guys, presenting my painting from the world of Harry Potter. For today's painting, I have selected this 8 by 12 canvas. Now let's draw an arc shape with the help of pencil and ruler. To paint my first layer, I am mixing raw sienna and cadmium red. And with the help of this mixture, I am painting this side of arc. Try to use large flat brushes for fast painting. It will help you with the long strokes and painting large areas. To create an illusion of darker side, I am applying this paint on the outer side of the library. This is the part where the light is quite low. With the small brush, I am painting black outline to create some kind of border. To create bookshelves, I took a mixture of raw sienna and black. Now next step is to paint the inner part of library. And for this, use the same paint that we used for the first layer. To paint the window, I am using white and cadmium yellow. For little magical effect, take a little piece of plastic and cover it with white and cad yellow mixture. And now tap it with very light pressure. Before applying this mixture, make sure that the background is dry. Now let's paint different books with different colors. Some books are thin and some books are thick. And that's the beauty of the library, right? I am using my ruler to paint window paint with my liner brush. Actually, using a ruler gives me confidence and makes things easier, right? Now let's highlight the books with a mixture of sap green and cadmium yellow. Now our library is ready. Here, at this place, we need to draw our favorite character, Hermione. So let's do it. Always make a rough sketch so that in case of any mistake, you can correct it or you can totally change it. After this, let's fill it with white base coat. This will allow to hide background colors. Let's start painting Hermione's robe with mass black. Paint the cuffs and collar with cad red with a dash of black. Always paint the hair with small brush, otherwise you will mess up for sure. Now it's time to give life to Hermione. Here comes the best part. To make this scene more funny, I have decided to paint a cat. So let's paint a cat with a white paint first so that I can paint on a plain surface after that. While my cat is playing, let's highlight the robe. I am using cat red with a dash of white to make it pop. Let's work on this naughty cat. 
Paint it with a mixture of cad yellow and a dash of cad red in it. This will make a nice light orange color. Those parts where light is not approaching should be a little darker, right? So for this I am applying cad red. I think this part should be more darker so I am adding a pinch of raw sienna in cad red and trying to blend it. If you are a beginner then believe me this will take a lot of time. Don't worry, try to blend it with gentle stroke back and forth before the paint dries. After a desired result, here I am painting fur to complete the look of this naughty cat. Now move on to another part and paint here. Use different shades to make it more repeating. Let's highlight the whole painting with white. By the way, how many times have you seen this movie? Tell me in the comment section below. Library is ready. Naughty Cat is done. Our favorite Hermione is looking amazing. But something is missing in this part, right? So let's paint a table here and put some books, pen or any other thing that you want to enhance the look of this painting. I am using rough brush here to give it a wooden look. Middle part has some sunlight on it and the rest has some darkness. So try to blend all these colors very well. Now last but not least, my favorite part, calligraphy. And this time I chose, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So how did you like the painting and today's video? Please let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, then please share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.